Nyaku here. All right. Um, so in this video, we are going to try and build out what we do see over here from Dribble. Um, it looks a little bit complicated, but when you break it down, it becomes really simple to tackle it. So um, let's head into breakdance and start building something out. So we do have an empty canvas over here. It's always the first thing. First, we are going to add a div. Sorry, we're going to add a section. So section in here. And for our section, what I want to do is I want to tackle the height and the width for height. I want to do a custom and do uh, for minimum height, change this one to custom two and then make it 100 DVH. All right. Um, that being done for the width, I want to go in here and just make it full width. So that is fine for what we want to do now. Um, next thing that we want to do is to tackle our background. So going back over, um, going back into here, you can see that there's a kind of a background that has like some grain on it. So we are going to try and mimic this whole thing. I do have what I'm going to do is probably zoom out and zoom out a little bit more and put this one to this side. You can see that I do have this grain that I already made with the Figma plugin and I already exported it. So that is what I'm going to use. So going back into our design, I'm going to go into background and I'm going to choose image and click on here. And then I'm going to use this particular one. I think that works fine. All right. So this is our grain. We are using it as the background so i think the background then has been um done uh, going back into figma um take it out um so going back into figma you can see that we do have this color thing over here i already did that um i created like um a blend of uh, what do you call them they call them eclipse so a blend of eclipse and then i just blurred them out a little bit and i created this kind of design over here and i won't be able to get particularly what they have here because um that is not uh it's going to be a bit difficult to do that all right so that being said and i also have this um thing that we are going to use for the background i am not going to do all of this then this line then uh, that's not necessary um so let's go back again all right so in here let's start adding the text that we do want so go to add and let me put in a heading so there's the first one and we are going to say what is the text that we create best digital product so uh, let's make the caps we create and then we can duplicate it and it's the best digital oh that's how this put digital yeah digital product so change this one to products all right products and then there's a full stop over there all right so these are the three things that we do need we have to also work on the sizing um of the the typography and for typography we are since we would want to make this one responsive we are going to use um clamps to create the type that we do want so what i am going to do is to open an extension called more blacks utility i am going to leave the link in the description so that you can also go and download the extension it helps you create clamps so go in here and then there's a utility so there's a clamp generator i'm just going to click on it and for size i'm going to make this one probably like 280 i'm going to leave this one at 32 i'm going to leave this one as 144 and then I am going to also change this one to around like 250 because the font looks a bit big. All right, so we are going to apply that in here. So for heading one, we can make this one like H2, make this one also H2 for best practices, H2, H2 go in here. And then for typography, going to font size, I'm gonna change this one to custom and I'm gonna paste what I just generated. And that should be good. We can, let's say, uh, let's make this one a one. All right, that is fine. And for the weight, we can also fix the weight. We can make it like 400. So that it's not like too, like too bold. All right, let's see whether we can copy and paste the design here. All right, so everything is cool. So we have done that. And the middle one, going back into the design, you can see that this one is all the way like to a bit to the right. So we are going to try and mimic that by clicking on here. And when you go into the styling panel, you go into size, we can make this size 
100% so that it covers the entire width. And then when we go into typography, we can make this like center, you see? Um, and then we can mimic this kind of like design that we want. If we don't want to do it this way, we can also use like margins, like left and right margins to also create it. So um, whatever we, you think you can achieve the, the design, you should use it as long as it is not um, breaking any too much rules and it's not going to cause problems. So this is that for um, the text that we do want. We can try and see how responsive this is by going into here and changing it. So when you get here, we can see that this one becomes this. If you do have a problem with it, you can fix it. I think the other thing that I'm going to do is make sure that I put this one to the left so that since all of them are in the left, when we come here, being it being on the left is, is a better way. If you don't want that, you can also put it to the right like this. So depending on how you want your design to look like. So this way is, is nice. This um the other way is also pretty pretty good. Let's leave it let's leave it this way. Alright, and let's try and see the uh, the other breakpoint. Alright, so when it gets a dash there and then alright, so this is uh this is pretty good. We can we can leave it like that. Okay, now we have this responsive. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this um in a div, all of it. I'm going to wrap all of it in a div. All right. And then select the div and then go into container and then the width, I'm going to make it hundred percent. And that is, um, that is fine. Okay. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to try and create this. Um, we're going to try and add this gradient over here. So selecting the div, I'm going to go into background and I'm going to use overlay and overlay image and then go to choose. And let me take that. So you can see that you just added it and let's go into image settings. We might want it to move a bit to the right. Um, there's no what I should have done. So going back into the image settings, I don't know why, like when you go and then you come back, like after you make all of this, it changes to whatever that you want. Sometimes annoying. All right. We can leave it right here. Uh, I think that is fine. So I think we have dealt with the, the top part. Now we're going to deal with these things over here. So let, let's see how to create this. Um, what I'm gonna, so what I'm going to do is this looks like they are on the same, um, in the same like dev. So I'm going to add a new dev. So go to add and a new dev, right? And in this new dev, I am going to add, um, something more like a link text. So let's say, um, text link, right? And in the, the text over here is discuss project. So let's just put that over here. So all caps and then all caps discuss. Let's say discuss the project, right? So discuss and then down there, the project. All right. Uh, let me just remove this. And then that is good. Going back into, um, going back into typography in here, what we want to do is give it a size of zero point. 75 rem and then we can go into advanced go into decoration and then make sure we don't have any underline over there which is fine we can make this one also one and then that is that is good and then we can make this one center like that and for family farm we can leave it like that and everything else we can also change the text to that if we don't want um it to highlight when it is hovered on we can go in here and still set it to that color. So that when we highlight, we don't get any like color thin. Uh, we can just make it like uh, a little kind of gray and that is fine. All right, so we need that circle thin around it. Um, we can do it in a few ways. We can like put this in a div and then put a circle thin over it, whatever, whatever. But what we are going to do is use it as a background. So this text link still being selected, we're gonna go into the advanced section and then in the advanced panel, I am gonna go into wrapper I'm going to go into background and then I am going to say that I'm going to add an item and then the item should be in an image and I'm going to select that image. All right. So this is what we are adding. So I'm just going to add it like that. So you can see you do not see it. The next thing that I want to do is probably give it like a size, let's say a custom size of maybe um, 200, right? You can see that you can see the 200 over there and for position, I'm going to make it center. Um, that is good. All right. Repeat. Let's say no repeat. 
and that is fine okay um next thing that we want to do is still in the wrapper section right we are going to go into size and for width we're going to say 200 and for height we are going to say 200 all right and as you can see we have that probably we can reduce the size so that it doesn't look too um too long so 100 is good and for that being done what we need to do next is probably deal with layout because we want this text to be in the middle so so we're going to go into layout and for layout we're going to make this let's say flex right and we can justify it to the center and then we can also align it to the center and then when you do maybe not align this align item to the center and then we do have that all right so we have created that very thing that we do so that we saw over here just good the next thing is to add a button so let's go in here and then add um what's a button so that is a button and let's say what does better say who we are so we can say so who we are that is fine let's make that and then when we come in here to the button we can do our own custom thing like that and we can even do like text, you know, you see text, it gives you that, it removes all the background things that we do not want. And in here we can say 0 0.8 REMs, that is fine. Um, Let's go into advanced and then with that code, we want to remove the underline. And in the advanced, we want to make line height of 1. Um, Yeah, I think that should be good. And yeah, we don't have to touch anything. And then when we come in here, you can see that there's arrows, so we can use some of the arrows over here. Let's say arrow number one, which is fine. So when you hover, it has like a little effect. Let's do it like typography, um, color and stuff like that. We can make this on a black because it is a black. Um, if we created that icon thing, that um, long arrow thing, we could have added it back. It's not necessary. All right, so that is done. I am going to select the div. And then go into container and then let's give this 100 percent then we're going to layout over here in the horizontal we want to make this one a space in between and then in the vertical align we're going to say middle um one thing i'm going to also add is um, a gap of 20 so that when this one breaks down and probably on a different break point you don't have them like stacking together like that so which is um which is good um yeah, so this is that. And the next thing is to add this um, text. So I'm going to just duplicate this div again, remove that and also remove this. And then in here, I'm going to add um, a header text and I'm going to add just a normal text. So this one, I'm just going to copy some random text from somewhere. So let's, um, let's copy whatever is here and then I'm come back in here. All right, so this is pretty um pretty lengthy. I'm going to delete, and then let's make this one. This is um these these are all H2, so I'm going to make some probably like an H3. And when I come into this, uh, I can probably uh, put this over here, so we have something like this, right? And I think that is good. And I'm going to select this one too, and I'm going to add that and let's go in here and i want to make it this then this is good we can go back in here let's start from where i think over here is good then we have only two lines so let's look for the other one too which is i think it's this one all right so we can just stop it over here and that is fine uh let's go back into the design see if we're doing good we are doing good so we are almost done with it and selecting back the section we can go into this and we can make here center center like that and in the guy i'm just going to give this one 120 so we have something more like that so this is um we are uh we are getting there we are getting there we can come back in here and then refresh and then we can see that we do have our design the next thing that we probably want to do is to test how responsive this design is um let's go back into here and then let's we can we can drag it from here you see this then we can just drag and then it's going to scale down scale down scale down scale down scale down we keep scaling down we keep scaling down and that is good all right probably on like um mobile 
probably the spacing is a bit too huge so we can probably give this one like like a 60 like that and we might not want it to also be like um 100 um dvh when it comes to like the height so if you want to fix that you can also fix that for like mobile stuff and things like that but um ultimately this is how you can make you can take um a dribble design that does, looks like this and then use breakdance to create it and even make it responsive all right um hope you learned something from this and hope you enjoyed it and hey if you liked it give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel you can also subscribe name is nyakon i'll see you on the next one